everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be going through a couple of things that are really stopping and preventing you from becoming a successful artist. These are some barriers that may be blocking your path to you reaching your full potential. And I'm really hoping this video is going to motivate you guys to become more committed and really dive in to being successful as an artist and building your own business as an artist. So whilst I'm talking about that, I'm going to be doing another sketch and this is how it turned out and I'm really happy with this one. And if you want prints of this, then they are available on my Etsy store, which is linked in the description as well. But anyway, guys, let's get into it. So the first thing that's really preventing you from becoming successful is that you are listening far too much to other people and other people's opinions and what they think you should be doing. So one thing that you've got to realize is that most people don't do what they love. Most people are quite unhappy and aren't satisfied in their job and in their life. And a lot of people just like to work their nine to five job without any sort of risk. And a lot of people don't really follow their dreams. So therefore, most people are going to try and discourage you from following your dream. And most people just don't understand your industry and they don't really understand what it takes to be an artist. So these people that are giving you advice don't really understand necessarily the art industry or whether you can make it as an artist. They just know from their personal experience that they think it's too risky for you. They'd rather you do a more safe job, a much safer job job where you know your paychecks are coming in each month and they don't think that you will be able to make it as an artist. So most people will discourage you from being an artist. A lot of people discouraged me from being an artist. And the thing you've got to realize is that if you listen to those people, then you are gonna end up just like them, probably doing a nine to five job that you don't like and regretting that you never followed your dreams. When in reality, if you want it enough, if you want to be an artist, if you want to do what I do, then of course you can do it. All you need to do is put in the time, the commitment, the hard work, and also just learn about the industry learn about what you need to do to actually earn a living. A lot of people don't understand necessarily all of the revenue streams that are available for artists and all of the possible opportunities that artists have. And a lot of the time when I tell people what I do, they don't really understand. And once I explain it, they are really shocked. And it's because they never really read into the industry they haven't researched all these different things so they're giving you advice without actually doing the research so instead of listening to people that are going to just outright tell you no you shouldn't be doing that it's way too risky you're never going to make it doing that and tell you to do something else why don't you look up to people and look at people that have made it in the industry and doing the sort of job that you want to do and ask them how they did it or look into how they grow their like following or how they became successful and try to like get in touch with them possibly if they will talk to you and discuss with them how exactly they did it. If you're serious enough, then a lot of people are willing to help you and give you advice if you really want to do it. And if you're really passionate, you will look into in more detail how you can make it as an artist and all of the opportunities, all of the different ways you can make money and sell your art. And if you are passionate, you can do it. Even if people tell you you can't do it, that's even more opportunity to prove them wrong and show that you can be a successful artist. And another thing is that the people that are giving you this advice might be your parents, relatives, teachers, and it might be people that are a lot older than you. And what you got to remember is it was a lot different when they were young and a lot of them aren't really sort of in touch and understand what it's like now and the sort of opportunities we have now. It's so different. We have such a wide audience that we could get in touch with. We have the whole world at our disposal. We can sell to people in different continents, like they wouldn't have been able to do that. And they don't necessarily understand all of the things that we can do now with the internet. So if this is the case for you, then I recommend just talking to them, try to explain to them and educate them about the things that you could do if you wanted to make an art career as an artist and how exactly you plan to do that. And they might take you a lot more seriously if you seem educated and like you know what you're doing. So let's get straight on to the second thing that might be preventing you from becoming a successful artist. And that is that you are too short sighted and you don't really think about the long term goals. And so many of you believe that you're going to grow your social media, your YouTube channels or sell your artwork and gain commissions extremely fast or a lot faster than you actually 
do and you're thinking too much about like the instant success rather than having like a long-term career plan and if you don't see your follow accounts increasing within like the first few months or sell your first art piece in the first few months then you'll probably get discouraged and feel like giving up and this is probably one of the reasons that you won't make it you are not thinking about long-term success you're simply having unrealistic expectations and you don't think about how long it will actually take you to become a successful artist and you don't think about how long it took other successful artists to become where they are you just see where they are now and just assume that they did it quite quickly so for me I've had my art channel nearly three years it'll be three years in a couple of months and I didn't see any sort of financial gain for the first two and a bit years any sort of real financial gain and so that's two and a bit years of me not seeing any real sort of success and did I give up? No, because I had a plan and I knew, yes, I've not got it now, but I will have. And if I keep working at it, it will happen because I had a plan and I knew I was expecting it to take a long time. So I wasn't discouraged. And that's one thing that you've got to get into your mind that it will take a long time. But again, if you want it enough, that won't matter to you. If it takes three, four, five years to get to where you want to be, that shouldn't matter to you because once you're there, you're there. And if you have to take that time to build it up, then if you really want it, you'll be willing to do that. So reason number three is that you make far too many excuses for yourself and you use excuses to kind of justify why you don't think you can be successful. So some examples are when people say, oh, I can't afford all those expensive art supplies, so I can't create really good art or I just don't have the time to draw, I'm too busy with this or that and so I can't make it as an artist because I don't have the time to draw. And they blame the situation for why they can't be successful and they are just excuses like when it comes to people saying oh I don't have the time to draw like you just need about 30 minutes 30 minutes every day to draw and paint and the truth is you're using that time somewhere like you're probably watching a tv show checking your social media you're watching youtube videos you're just chilling out texting people talking to your friends and you've made time for that and if drawing and painting if it was really your passion if you were so committed to making it as an artist and you really wanted it you would be able to find 30 minutes to an hour a day to do it and of course there's going to be days where you're a bit more busy than others but I mean generally day to day I'm sure you can find at least half an hour whether that's chopped up like five minutes here and there you can find half an hour to practice your skills and I'm pretty sure you can do that and I'm pretty sure there's no real reason why you can't find 30 minutes a day to yourself to put this as a priority and really make something of that day. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a few exceptions to that rule, but I'm on about for generally most of you out there, you'll be able to find that time. So the fourth reason that you won't make it as an artist, and this is a really important one, is you don't think of it as a business, you just think of it as making art and talent art. You don't think of it as a small business for yourself, that you're an entrepreneur and that you need to make money and make it a viable business and something that you can successfully do and earn a living from. And so a lot of people do the art thing, they're good at the art, but they don't have the business skills and they don't research and read up on the business side of it. And that is the crucial part to making you a successful artist. You could have the best artwork in the world, but if you can't market yourself and learn how to create that money and way, how you're gonna do that, you're not gonna be successful. So there are so many ways to make money as an artist. I've got a whole video about it, which I'll link above, but you need to realize that you need to learn business and that is just as important as doing the art thing. And you need to see it as a business. And I'm gonna do a whole video in detail about the business skills that you need to be an artist and the ways that you can make money as an artist. I'm gonna do that again, because that is just so important. And reason number five is far too many of you are not confident enough, you have far too much self-doubt and you think you can't make it yourself. 
when really your art skills are fine for your level and you could definitely get there if you just worked a bit harder and kept improving them but if you don't think you can do it and you've got loads of other people telling you you can't do it then what chance have you got like you need to be confident in yourself everyone else is going to be telling you you can't do it so you need to believe in yourself and a lot of you can do it most of you can do it you just need to improve your skills anyone can draw well if you work hard at it and practice you just need to believe in yourself but anyway guys that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did why not subscribe and let me know what other videos you'd like to see and i will see you in the next one bye guys